थर्ड क्वेश्चन भगवान इज इट राइट टू ईट एनिमल फ्लैश बाई स्लॉटरिंग दम इज हलाल स्लॉटर राइटियस एंड जस्टिफाइबल वॉट आर द बेनिफिट्स ऑफ अ वेजिटेरियन डाइट आई बिलीव दैट इफ वन वॉन्ट्स यूनियन विद द क्रिएटर ही शुड एबस्टेन फ्रॉम किलिंग एनिमल्स फॉर हिज फूड एनिमल स्लॉटर हाउस एज ऑल्सो एमिट अ लॉट ऑफ ग्रीन हाउस गैसेज एंड इट्स नॉट गुड फॉर आवर एनवायरमेंट एंड नीदर इज इट गुड फॉर आवर ओन हेल्थ एंड वाइटैलिटी आई डोंट कंडेम दोज हु ईट मीट बट ईटिंग फ्लैश हैज इट्स ओन डेट्रीमेंटल रिपरकशंस इफ वी फीड ऑन ईच अदर एंड इफ दिस इज योर आर्ग्यूमेंट टू डिफेंड हलाल स्लॉटर एक्चुअली a person who is seeking for enlightenment and god develops so much compassion that he can never think about slaughtering animals i can never defend slaughter of animals be it halal or haram just because you invoke upon allah for slaughtering an animal it doesn't purify the process it doesn't purify the process it's just that man is intrinsically brutal and wicked and he is motivated by greed and that's why he can dare to kill a living being which is in itself the divine reflection of god i am not talking about those people who are still asleep in ignorance and delusion rather i am talking about spiritually awakened people spiritually awakened people i'm talking about them I'm not talking about the ordinary and mundane and mediocre people who have no such information regarding spirituality who have yet not developed such universal compassion for all living beings people surviving on animal flesh have yet not become spiritually active if we even go by the recent researches and findings we shall apparently see that eating flesh is not healthy and is directly linked to causing cancer and raising blood pressure and cholesterol these things are hidden from the public domain and are not known on a widespread basis as it will lower the profits of slaughter houses and those who trade in animal flesh as it will impact their businesses these things are not circulated everywhere so frequently and elaborately animal diet increases ecological disturbances and it leads to greenhouse gas emissions and it's according to science and not according to me eating plants is the only alternative to a healthier lifestyle which focuses on the qualitative aspects of life and also prolongs it by bringing sustainability and longevity our body needs some essential nutrients and amino acids and we can get all that from the plants and cereals we simply have to choose a balanced diet to ensure this and our country has long been doing this and it's not to be forgotten that indian cuisine is the most holistic broad and diverse cuisine all across the globe our food has essentially been vegetarian it has primarily been vegetarian since time immemorial and it has also been rich in nutrition and our cuisine is famous all over the world for this our family doesn't consume non vegetarian food and this custom will remain intact for the coming generations too we don't cook non vegetarian food and will not cook that ever my work also revolves around the merger with the divine god and it cannot permit me to endorse slaughter of animals diseases don't come if you follow an ethical lifestyle diseases don't come when you breathe every day diseases don't come when you feed on plants and food grains when you choose not to spill the blood of animals by slaughtering them 
blood is blood and murder is murder be it of an animal or a human on one hand you protect a turtle and a bird in the name of wildlife protection and on the other hand you promote the halal slaughter of animals halal slaughter or any other form of slaughter is eternally sinful and inhumane it's a vice and it's terrorism in the language and world of animals how can you even justify animal slaughter when you talk about god and universal compassion i don't agree with it i simply don't agree with it it's a two-faced approach of dealing with life these innocent animals can't speak and defend themselves and people take it as a chance and an opportunity to slaughter them they take advantage of the helplessness of animals these slaughterers are murderers they endorse killing of animals in the name of religion and call it halal how can killing be halal or justifiable on the grounds of religion it's my philosophy to avoid violence which is done in the name of consuming food for fighting hunger and many times people take help of a religion to justify animal slaughter i am always against it and i condemn cannibalism that's it for today thank you very much